hi this is destiny from Desfix, and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce series using django in this one we'll start working with the editing products and also the deleting of products that is all we'll be doing hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new so let's get started i'll begin by opening up my code editor and i want to get back to the views let me close up all this i've got a lot of tabs open here let me minimize this a little bit so i want to open up the user admin views py okay and this view will be very 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 related to this one so you could pretty much just copy this and put it down here and just change the add products to edit products change the template from add products to edit dash products same thing and over here what you want to do now is fetch the product so you can fetch the products based on the pid and what we simply need to say is product should be equal to products dot object dot get where pid is equal to pid simple as that then with all this down as soon as we render this product you know what let's go ahead and do this so that you see how it works I'll register this product here. This should be edit products. Call it, call it the same thing, only that I need to pass in PID over here now, PID. So now let's take this edit products and put it in the product HTML edit button, which is this edit button here. So you can pretty much put it down here. URL, user, admin, edit products. Then you need to say p.pid so it doesn't throw a bug. Now when, you, when you reload this page, okay, let's see. Reverse for blah, 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 isn't found. Um, let me break out from my server and rerun it again, just in case there was an issue. Let's rerun this, see, there was a problem, the code wasn't all caught up. So now when you click on one of this, you can see that it's working, but it shows that we need to create this template. So let's do that. You could pretty much duplicate this one, the add products, just duplicate it and change the name to edit dash product and also remove the copy key keyword there and now we should have that template see how do we now prefill all the previous information that were that were here so that we don't have to retype for that one you need to now add one more keyword here called instance should be equal to product so that pretty much means grab all these other fields from the product over here and populate it as simple as that Instance equals to products is the same thing you still want to add over here. Okay. And I believe that should be it. Our code has re reloaded. Now, can you see it showing up a hat, a white hat, all the price, everything, the category, the tags, uh oh, the tags isn't showing up as expected. All right. We'll have to see what's wrong with the tag and fix it. And one year, 14 and the manufacturer dates, you can see that got formatted pretty much every other thing apart from the image. So what you want to do down here is pass in form and also still pass in products to the templates. So right now I will open up the templates and look for the image section, which is, it should be down here. And instead of this SVG, I will say products.image.url. And now when you reload this, see, we can now see the hat coming in perfectly well. So for now, that is pretty much everything. So let's say I want to select a shot and over here I'm saying shots and maybe I want to say a blue shot, something like that. And trying to, not a, a blue shot, but a blue shot. And I'll change this button to create product, okay? When we update the product, does it not make sense to redirect back to that product that we just updated? How do we do that? The views PY, after, returning here you pretty much want to return or redirect to user admin edit products and products dot pid i hope i'm able to fetch this from there um add a comma yeah that's the problem please add a comma so that you can actually get this so as soon as we edit the product let's get back to products page See, it's got edit, it's got updated now shots and the image. If you click edit again and you're selecting a new image, let's say you want to use something else instead of this one, 
let's say that cart. Let me change that button name. So instead of it saying create products, it should say update products. And instead of this one saying add new products, it should say update products. All right, let's see how it looks. All good. Now let's select a new cart image and update products. See, we returned back here, all good. And now the image is, is been updated. I will try another one again. There you go. So perfectly, perfectly well. This is now working as expected. The only thing left, I believe, is the tag. What's going on with the tag? So we seem to have a little problem with the tag. I, I will actually have to look into this. And if we keep getting this problem from targets, then I will have to actually create my own tag model and my own tag feature from scratch, okay? And not rely on any third party package. So I'll have to look at this and know the next step to take for the tags. And I'll make sure to update you guys on it. So let's look at the views again and create one last one for the product, which will be the delete. So I will say define delete underscore product. And we just did a passing request and also the PID so that we can fetch the product that we want to delete. Grab the products from there and put it down here. And what you pretty much want to say is product does delete. And after that is done, return back to, um, let's see, let's return back to the dashboard. Instead of returning back to the dashboard, does it make sense to return back to products, right? Even after a product gets created, don't return back to the dashboard, return back to the products page. That I think that is the best thing to do. So now let's register this delete in the URLs. I will say delete products, put that here, put that here. And now let's put this in here for this trash icon. So over here, I'll create a new URL. This will be user admin and pass in delete product p dot pid. Awesome. So come over to the products page. Um, it says delete products isn't a valid view function name. Let me break out from my server and run it again. Sometimes you need to do that so all the code syncs up together again. See, there was no issue. But now when you get back here and click on this to delete the short, and you click on that. See, short is gone. You click on this. See, heart is gone. All good. So I think that is pretty much it. The edit products and the delete products are now working perfectly well as expected. In the next video, we'll get started working with something else. Maybe the orders and the orders detail. See, we haven't worked on that for a long time. And after that, we will start working on the changing of order status, maybe the shop page, the reviews, the settings, and finally the change password. We'll start off with the order and order detail in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, do not forget to drop a like. Consider subscribing as it will really mean the world to me. And until the next video, mad love. Peace out.